unhook it, plug it in, and let the hydrogen flow. This could be the way you refuel your car in the not-so-distant future. Meet Hyundai's iX35, the first commercially produced hydrogen-powered vehicle. Eventually, I, I strongly believe that fuel cells will uh, replace a lot of uh, conventional vehicles like a gasoline or diesel. Ang Pyong Ki, the man leading the project for Hyundai, is bullish about the car's future. On the outside, it looks like any normal car, but underneath, it's another world. Most importantly, the engine, in this case, fuel cell stack, of course, is not really moving. So the uh, most um, uh, noisy, you know, parts in the conventional uh, vehicle uh, will be the engine itself, but uh, we don't have that system. But this comes at no small investment. Hyundai has spent hundreds of millions of dollars developing the technology. In the long run, uh, we have to uh, target the um, niche market and uh, that will be the mainstream eventually, of course. So this is time for making our pie bigger and uh, we'll take the lion's share. Well, I can't, uh, I can't say in maybe five, ten years from now. When one thinks of hydrogen, this might come to mind. The Hindenburg, full of the gas, exploding into flames. Hydrogen is the most abundant and the cleanest element and uh, uh, power resource in the universe. So as long as you can uh, keep it in a safe place, like we do now, and then you can utilize the advantage of hydrogen. At $183,000, it costs roughly the same as an Aston Martin Vantage. Dr. On hopes new technology and greater volume will drastically slash the price when the average consumer gets their hands on it between 2020 to 2025. Now, only European governments get to drive them. The other hurdle Hyundai faces is hydrogen fueling stations. By partnering with petroleum companies, they hope to overcome this challenge. Behind the wheel, it starts like any other car. The ride is noticeably smooth. And now for the all-important car facts. For roughly $50, you can travel 600 kilometers, top speed 160 kilometers per hour. And for you drag racers out there, 0 to 100 in 12.5 seconds. A bit slow, but they're trying to make it faster. All of this, and the car's only emission, is water. And it's that serious investment in eco-friendly green technology, which they hope in the long run will bring in a different kind of green. Ian Lee, CNN, Yongin City, South Korea.